What's up everyone, it's your boy Outlaw back with another video. Welcome back to the channel. In this one we're going to take a look at the numbers event, what you unlock, and how to unlock it. Um, you got nine objectives for Warzone and nine objectives for Black Ops Cold War. The Warzone ones are fairly simple. You just go to each broadcast station, activate it if it's not activated already, and just be in the vicinity of it. Uh, you'll unlock calling cards, emblems, stickers, and the dual psi melee weapon. Um, like I said, the Warzone ones are really simple. In this video here, I show you exactly how you do it. Uh, and I did it in about five minutes. Uh, the Black Ops Cold War ones take a little longer. Um, you basically will when you first drop in they all show up red which means they're deactivated so if you go to that site and it's red you will have to activate it um i just jumped into uh trio solo and grabbed a helicopter and i flew to each broadcast station uh the first one i had to activate but once I got to that one and did that, the rest of them were already activated. Uh, all you have to do is be within 100 to 150 meters and it will automatically activate the number sequence and unlock the objective for you. The Black Ops Cold War ones, you'll do objectives for each one of those. The first one is to complete three multiplayer matches on Zoo or earn objective milestones in Outbreak Survival. The second one is to win a multiplayer demolition match or earn two or more zombie rounds or objective milestones in X Fields successfully. The third one is to get a total of 50 eliminations in multiplayer or slaughter medals in zombies. Kill five enemies rapidly. The third one is to get 10 kills with lethal equipment in multiplayer or earn lethal equipment multi-kill medals in zombies. The fourth objective is to earn 25,000 total multiplayer score or zombies essence. The fifth one is to get 3 multiplayer kills without dying or recover 500 health with food items in a region of outbreak survival 3 times. The next one is to get 5 kills with score streaks in multiplayer or earn support multi-kill medals in zombies. The next one is to get 5 kills with or assisted by your field upgrades in multiplayer or earn field upgrade multi-kill medals in zombies. And the last one for the Black Ops Cold War is to earn 3 multi-kills in multiplayer or eliminate elite enemies in zombies. Uh, basically, that's if you want to unlock the stickers, emblems, and calling cards for the Black Ops portion of it, but if you just want to get the melee weapon, it's the easiest to jump in the war zone and, and do it that way. Like I said, it took me a total of five minutes just by dropping in, grabbing a helicopter, and just flying to each location, and you will do it really, really quickly. Like I show in the video here, you just get within range and it'll automatically activate the sequence and it's done which is pretty simple uh, you can get like I said in a helicopter or any vehicle and just get within range of each one and it will unlock the calling card or emblem for that particular one like I said, the zombies and Black Ops Cold War multiplayer will take a little time to grind out. Your Warzone objectives are just basically activating and listening to the mobile broadcast stations all over uh, for dance. Um, the, like I said, the first two, one or two that I got completed, I had to drop in on the first one and activate it. But by the time I did that, the rest were already activated, and 
just fly around and, and boom, they're done. This was kind of disappointing, honestly. I thought it would be something better. But we are at the end of season five, and season six is right around the corner. We got about two more weeks left until season six starts. So hopefully they have something planned for season six. And then shortly after that, we'll have Vanguard release. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the event so far. Um, was it worth the anticipation? Um, I don't know, it was, to me it's just kind of disappointing. Um, everything leading up to it. And then the numbers event is just a bust. And you can complete it in five minutes. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I'm looking forward to the next haunting of her dance type event because we haven't had anything really awesome for Warzone since the haunting of her dance. That's just my honest opinion. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, but overall, it was very disappointing. I know in Season 6, I have another video coming up to talk about it. Uh, we got the Season 5 outro. And I'll bring you more information about what's coming in Season 6 and anything COD related. And that should wrap this video up. We'll see you guys in the next one. Eighteen, seven, eleven.